Deathbringer is a fantasy RPG that requires, as you may imagine, a hefty knowledge of Japanese to enjoy. It's really too bad because it was developed by Telenet Japan, who has already proven itself quite capable in the action genre with Valise and the RPG genre with the upcoming East titles. In addition, there is almost no English coverage for this game, but I'll do the best I can. At first when I saw so much English, I was hopeful that I would be able to navigate the title thanks to visual cues and random hints of my native tongue. That quickly revealed to not be the case, as I got lost almost immediately in the first town. I had no idea how to do simple things like purchase items, and it was almost laughable the loop I got stuck in speaking with a blacksmith. Not only that, but this is one of those first person RPGs, which I find to be unplayable by today's standards. I tried whipping out the graph paper and trying to map the town and surrounding forest, but after leaving the castle walls I was lost in the woods forever. While it was impressive to see a day and night cycle in the game, this only added to the confusion and I had no idea where to go. I kid you not, there is over an hour of footage that is nothing more than me wandering around trying to find a location of note. I also had a couple of encounters along the way, but the battle systems didn't seem to make much sense to me either. I beat a single enemy without a scratch, but all I selected was attack in the menu. Then, when I got ambushed by a team of bandits, I lost over 300 health and most of that was fighting a single foe. The rest of the bandits seemed to fall right after I took out the first one. My lack of Japanese knowledge didn't seem to be a deciding factor in the battle system, so regardless of whether or not I knew the language, I'm betting this battle system may have become a deal breaker sooner than later. Ultimately, Deathbringer is not playable for an English-speaking person, and I'm betting that the little I've seen reveals it also to be too dated for even Japanese players as well. I've read a few descriptions in databases that say it's a classic, but I just don't have enough time with the game and information to offer my own take. It was games like this that made me hesitant to cover Japanese games in Cron CD, but given the utter lack of other English coverage, I suppose it's helpful to simply show these somewhat obscure titles to the West.